Oh, this movie's already out to kill me. I know. Started. <laughs> I feel it. I'm like, is that chest pain? <laughs> <laughs> you guys, welcome back to Cinepals. I'm Achara Cook, joined by Steph Sabra. Hello. And we are watching another scary movie, horror classic. This one is The Shining, directed by Stanley Q. Kubrick. I was like going to say Kubrick. Kubrick. Is it Kubrick? Kubrick? Blah, blah. Definitely elongated. Ew. Yes. Uh, and this is a, a film by a legendary director starring Jack Nicholson and Shelley Duvall. I've heard only good things about it. Same. And that it's scary. Uh, yeah. And it's definitely one of those where there are certain things that like images right. that you know are from The Shining, even if you've never seen the movie. Before. Yes. So two little scary twins. Yes. That do twins a bad service. And then I, <laughs> I feel like that classic Jack Nicholson yeah. crazy face. The yeah. crazy face yeah. through the door with the, here's Johnny. Right. Yeah. yeah. So um, we'll finally get to see it in the context of the film. So you guys, uh, if you haven't already, please don't forget to subscribe, click the bell icon, all notifications, and upvote this video before we get into it. And also, if you'd just rather watch the entire movie along with us with no cuts or interruptions, you can do that by joining our Patreon, patreon.com slash jabbykaway, or by becoming a member right here on the channel. All right, you guys, let's get into it. Oh. Okay. Mm -hmm. Establishing shot and music. This kind of makes me feel like, remember when we watched The Evil Dead? Totally. And they had that shot where it was just like Totally. Tracking. And this was before drones, so this must have been like a helicopter or something. Right. How did they do this? Oh no, I think it's Colorado. May I don't know, because when we were at Greg's wedding. Oh yeah, are those the Rocky Mountains? Yeah, they. we were nearly going to take an excursion to go visit the house. Oh really? Or the, the hotel or whatever where they shot this movie. But it was too far away from where we were. So if... If they're sticking with the actual location of where they shot it, then it's Colorado. Okay. Yeah, this must be a helicopter. Yeah, it's like... Shoo. Is this the hotel? That's it cool. looks very grand. Really grand. Hi. I've got an appointment with Mr. Allman. My name's Jack Torrance. His office is the first door on the left. I think there's just something about Jack Nicholson because I've seen him in so many things now that I'm just like, I associate him with like slightly unhinged characters like the Joker. <laughs> totally. Do you really want to go and live in that hotel for the winter? Sure I do. It'll be lots of fun. The cigarettes back then. I know. What about Tony? He's looking forward to the hotel, I bet. No, I ain't Mr. Torch. Now oh, come on, Tony. Don't be silly. I don't want to call them Mr. Torch. Well, how come you don't want to go? I just don't. <laughs> he just doesn't. Yeah. Jack is uh, going to take care of the Overlook for us this winter. I'd like you to take him around the place as soon as we're through. Fine. Red Book. What's that about? Our season here runs from uh, May 15th to October 30th. Then we close down completely until the following May. Why? Do you mind if I ask why you do that? That. The skiing up here would be fantastic. Yes. Oh, it sure would be. The problem is the enormous cost it would be to keep the road to Sidewinder open. It's a it's a 25-mile stretch of road. Mm. 20 feet of snow during the winter, and there's just there's no way to make it economically feasible. That's interesting. Yeah, you guys will be stuck here. The only thing that can get a bit trying up here during the winter is a uh, tremendous sense of isolation. Mm. Well, that just happens to be exactly what I'm looking for. I'm, uh, I'm outlining a new writing project. It's actually a really good job for a writer. Yeah. Told you anything in Denver about the tragedy we had up here during the winter of 1970? Oh, God. I don't believe they did. Uh-oh. Look at his face. Uh, my predecessor in this job hired a man named Charles Grady as the winter caretaker. And he came up here with his wife and two little girls, I think about eight and ten. And he had a Good employment record. Oh, they're not twins. During the winter, he must have suffered some kind of a complete mental breakdown. He ran amok and uh, he killed his family with an axe. Oh, God. He put uh, both barrels of a shotgun in his mouth. He thought that it was what the old timers used to call cabin fever. Kind of claustrophobic reaction which can occur when people are shut in together over long periods of time. Mm. Pandy. Yeah. 
I also understand why your people in Denver left it for you to tell me. <laughs> yeah, so you could drive up here for three and a half hours. Tony, do you think Dad'll get the job? He already did. He's gonna phone Wendy up in a few minutes to tell her. Wait, what? That's so creepy. This kid needs some real friends. Tony, why don't you wanna go to the hotel? I don't know. Oh gosh. No, come on, tell me. Don't want to. Don't Tony, tell me. Hey, Tony's gone. Oh, did he tell you? Oh shoot. What the heck? What? The Ferg. That's a lot of blood. That's a lot of blood. Oh, oh my. Jeez. Now hold your eyes still so I can see. What, he, f he fell into a shock? Can you remember what you were doing just before you started brushing your teeth? Uh. Talking to Tony, he's a little bit lives in my mouth. Tony's his imaginary friend. If you were to open your mouth now, could I see Tony? No. Why not? Because he hides. Where does he go? To my stomach. Okay, kid. Okay. I don't think you have anything to worry about. I'm quite sure there's nothing physically wrong with Danny. <laughs> not physically. Maybe just <laughs> mentally. Did Tony's first appearance happen to coincide with your arrival here? No. Um, let's see. I guess Danny started talking to Tony about the time we put him in nursery school. Did he adjust well to school? No. <laughs> he didn't like it too much at first. And then he had an injury, so we kept him out for a while. And... Yeah. I, I guess that's about the time when I first noticed that he was talking to Tony. Huh. What sort of injury? Hmm. Uh, he dislocated his shoulder. How did he manage to do that? Well, it was just one of those things, you know, purely an accident. Yeah, that sounds really sus. My husband had uh, been drinking and... He came home yeah. about three hours late. Usually that's a red flag. Danny had scattered some of his school papers all over the room, and my husband grabbed his arm, you know, to pull him away from him. He used too much strength, and he injured Danny's arm. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. That sounds great. Child Look at services. Her. Beep, beep, beep. She said, clutch the pearls. Wendy, I'm never going to touch another drop. And if I do, you can leave me. And he didn't. And he hasn't had any alcohol in uh, five months. Oops. Five months? Okay. But that's good. It's better than nothing. Like, she's yeah. not She's not a dumb character, at least they're giving I, her. Well, she's very optimistic, yeah. I feel. Like, at least right now, she's coming across as like, oh, yeah, like, everything's fine, you know, blah, right. blah, blah. At least he felt bad about what he did. Yeah. You should never have to pull a child's arm that hard, though. Jesus. This is our Colorado Lounge. Oh, it's beautiful. My God. Oh, wow. Yeah. It's really pretty. Who's there? Not into it. Who? Oh. Oh, so he has like a sixth sense? Yeah, I think so. Which makes me wonder if Tony is like a ghost as well or something. Hey, girlies, what's up? Mace? It's quite an attraction around here. The walls oh, are 13 amazed? feet high. And the hedge is about as old as the hotel itself. It's a lot of fun. Oh, yeah, we're going to have fun with that later on, I'm sure. Yeah. When was the Overlook built? Construction started in 1907. It's finished in 1909. The site is supposed to be located on an Indian burial ground. I knew it! I was just about to say it! It's uh, got to be an Indian burial ground. Like, a lot of... Well, at least in stories, a lot of like weird supernatural stuff can happen. Right. Yeah, like pet cemetery or something. Come on over and say hello to Mr. and Mrs. Torrance. Sure. This is Dick Halloran, our head chef. Mr. Halloran. Oh. I'm Jack. How to meet you, Jack? My wife, Are you leaving any food behind? Dick, if you're ready to do it now, I think it'd be a good idea if you could show Mrs. Torrance the kitchen while I continue on with Jack. It'd be a pleasure. Right this way, Mrs. Torrance. Oh yeah. Because clearly you're going to be doing all the cooking, lady. Right. This is your job. Yeah. Well, one thing for sure, you don't have to worry about food. Because you folks have eat up here a whole year and never had the same menu twice. Now, right here is our walk-in freezer. Oh, don't get yeah. stuck in there. Oh, that's a nightmare. Right. You got 15 rib roasts, 
30 10 pound bags of hamburger. Oh, wow. We got 12 turkeys, about 40 chickens, 50 sirloin steaks. Well, at least that answered my question about like where are they going to get all the food from? How do you know we call him Doc? Big Bird? Oh. You called Danny Doc twice just now. I did? Yeah. Oh, that's weird. Well, I guess I probably heard you call him that. Well, it's oh. possible, but I honestly don't remember calling him that since we've been with you. Well, anyway, he looks like a doc, doesn't he? Nah. What's up, doc? <laughs> okay. Sketch. Uh, yeah, exactly. I'm like, I don't trust any of these people now. Where we keep all the dry goods and the canned goods. We got canned fruits and vegetables. Uh-oh. Six cents. Yeah. What's in here? This corn flakes, sugar puffs, rice crispies, oh, oatmeal. Hiding behind my mom right now. Wheat. You got a dozen jugs of black. Who's there? The mom. What's up with him? How'd you like some ice cream, Doc? What? Sociable mango rolls and seven kinds of what happened. Some sort of like weird telepathic communication going on right now. You folks don't mind if I give Danny some ice cream while I'm waiting for you. Oh. Not at all. No, uh -huh. we don't mind. Good. Sound good to you, Doc? Yeah. Okay. okay. You behave yourself. You bribe all the children with ice cream. He's like, you seem like a nice man. Do you know how I knew your name was Doc? How? I can remember when I was a little boy. My grandmother and I could hold conversations entirely without ever opening our mouths. Wow. Mm. She called it shiny. Okay. And for a long time, I thought it was just the two of us that had the shine to us. Oh. Just like you probably thought you was the only one. Oh. But there are other folks, though mostly they don't know it or don't believe it. Give the kid an education. How long have you been able to do it? Why don't you want to talk about it? I'm not supposed to. Who said you ain't supposed to? Who? My dad. You're... Tony. Oh. oh. I don't think I like Tony. But Tony tried to tell him not to come here. Has Tony ever told you anything about this place? Yes. I don't know. Now think real hard, Doc. Think. He's just trying to help, right? I think so. Drallon. Are you scared of this place? You know, some places are like people. Some shine and some don't. This place doesn't. Maybe things that happen leave other kind of traces behind. Not things that anyone can notice. Things that people who shine can see. Why the hell does he stay here? Right. What about room 237? Oh. <gasps> You're scared of him, 237, ain't you? Really? Yeah, just tell him the truth. Yeah. Tell him not to go there. But you ain't got no business going in there anyway. Oh, God. So stay out. You understand? Stay out. Of course he's not, though, because he's a child. Right. <laughs> One month later. Oh, oh God. God. When we first came up here, I thought it was kind of scary. <laughs> I fell in love with it right away. Hmm. When I came up here for my interview, it was as though I'd been here before. Oh. It was almost as though I knew what was going to be around every corner. <laughs> All right. Weird. Jeez. Everything's eerie. Yeah. Let's reframe as beautiful. <laughs> right, I'm not into mazes. No. All all winter just memorizing the maze. Yeah. What? You're Don't not right. Break anything, sir. Oh, is that the maze? Oh yeah. That's huge. Yeah. Damn. You definitely get your 10,000 steps walking in the maze every day. Ooh, oh, yeah, you made it to the middle. How do you get out? It's humongous. Why is the music picking I up? I know. Oh. Whew. 
<laughs> what? Okay. To our west, it is snowing and cold, and it's moving right here towards Colorado right now oh, as we talk. It's incredible. Oh, wow. I've seen this shot. Yeah. This is an iconic it's shot. Kind of, yeah, the, this carpet. That's yeah. the carpet, right? The shining and, carpet. And the, and the the tricycle. Yeah. This he, kid. He does look kind of freaky, even though I know he's not supposed to be. Yeah. It's kind of wild how they're able to keep it so steady. Because I, yeah. can't, I can't see any tracks. Don't you dare. No, is it the room? Yeah. Is Tony telling you to, to like, go away? Because I think you should. I think you definitely should leave this. Yeah, don't even. If there's evil in there, you never want to open the door. You're too cute to be traumatized for the rest of your life. It's not going to be locked. Oh, maybe it is locked. Oh, <gasps> gosh. Yeah. You know those, uh, those chills? Yeah, get out. Weather forecast said it's going to snow tonight. What do you want me to do about it? He's starting to act a little weird. Don't be so grouchy. I'm not being grouchy. I just want to finish my work. Leave the man alone. It's a big hotel. Whenever you come in here and interrupt me, you're breaking my concentration. You're distracting me. And it will then take me time to get back to where I was. Just go. Just go. Just go. Oh, Just leave. That sucks that you're married to him. Yeah. Whenever I'm in here, you hear me typing. Whether you don't hear me typing, what the fuck you hear me doing in here when I'm in here, that means that I am working. That means don't come in. Oh my gosh. You can make your own food, sir. Poor Why don't Wendy. You start right now and get the fuck out. Of here? <gasps> wow. I would just leave him alone for the rest. Yeah. Of, for the, the you rest can of starve. The stay. Yeah. You can make your own food. There's bread and stuff in the kitchen. You. Yeah. I'm done with you. Bye. No. Yeah. I'm not feeding you. Don't have. The sound in this movie is <laughs> just too good. Oh. Oh no. gosh. Mm. What the hell? That face is yeah, scary. It's really scary. Mm. Wow, that's like some old fashioned phone system. And also, her jacket is awesome. It is. It is. Oh, no, don't say something over the PA. This is KDK-12 calling KDK-1. KDK-12 to KDK-1. This is KDK-1. We're receiving you. Over. But our telephones don't seem to be doing too well. Are the lines down by any chance? Over. Yes, quite a few of them are down due to the storm. Any chance of them being repaired soon? Over. Well, I wouldn't like to say. Most winters, they stay that way until spring. Wow. Well, if you folks have any problems up there, just give us a call. And Mrs. Torrance. I think it might be a good idea if you leave your radio on all the time now. Over. OK, we'll do that. It was real nice talking to you. Mm -hmm. Yeah, he seems like a nice guy. Yeah. She's probably really lonely. I can't imagine that her husband's like chatty right now. And no phone, like. <laughs> No yeah. internet. <gasps> oh my gosh. Hello, Danny. Okay, what what are your names? Come and play with us, Danny. Oh gosh. Just leave. Are they are they right in front of you? Okay, phew, they're gone, but like run? Jesus. Are they or maybe they're behind you. Aye, aye, Where aye. are they? Can I go to my room and get my fire engine? Not right now. Daddy's asleep. Oh, yeah. Don't. Don't make a sound. I want mom. Oh, gosh. You're a... Make sure you come right back. Your other arm is going to get dislocated. Can I go to my room and get my fire engine? Come here for a minute first. Uh, no, that's fine. 
We're okay. I'm okay. I just farted. <laughs> you don't want me by you. <laughs> That's usually a good way to get out of anything. How's it going, Dad? Okay. Having a good time? Yes, Dad. I want you to have a good time. Oh, my gosh. Yeah. Do you feel bad? Just a little bit tired. Why don't you go to sleep? Yeah, I was about to ask the same thing. You got too much to do. Do you like this hotel? Yeah. Don't you? I guess so. I guess. Yeah. That's a very nice track. Oh, God, we know what this is, right? This carpet. Wrong carpet. Oh, oh gosh. no. Girls, right now is not a good time. Please. What are you doing on this level? Mom. God, the hotel is so big. And you picked this floor. Yeah. I feel so Oh no, the, the door is open. Oh, hell no. No, don't. No, no. She's, not. she's not. Nothing good is in there. Wendy's not the jokes type. <laughs> she's not the she's jokes not. type. Yeah. <laughs> oh, he's having nightmares. Mm. Maybe that's yeah, why he, he can't slept, sleep. But I yeah. hope he stays. <laughs> Better to have nightmares and no sleep. <laughs> Maybe. I don't know about that. I mean, the nightmare's looking pretty bad. What happened? Honey. Ew. My most terrible nightmare I ever had. It's the most horrible dream I ever had. Okay, what happened? Well, I dreamed that I, that I killed you and Danny. Oh, oh no. gosh. Come on, let's get it back to Oh, what? What's going on, kiddo? His shirt is like... That's not right. Right. Danny. Oh my god. Danny, what happened to your neck? What? No, I need answers. Yeah. And you're not leaving my side. Go give him a hot bath right now. I don't know. And hang out with him. You did this to him. Oh, God. Didn't you? You son of a bitch! You did this to him! Didn't you? How could you? Wait, what? Okay, that's jumping to conclusions really quick. I mean, he did dislocate his child's shoulder before, so I... Totally, but... I, yeah. I think she should wait a little longer. In my goddamn soul. Beer. Oh, is it is one just gonna appear? Hi, Lloyd. Who? A little slow tonight, isn't it? Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> oh shit! Yes, it is, Mr. Torrance. You slip me a bottle of bourbon, a little glass, and some ice. You can do that. Here's to five miserable months on the wagon. And all the irreparable harm that it's caused me. Oh, so it's been five months. Yeah, since he's had a drink. And oh. And now oh. he's drinking again. Just a little problem with the uh, old sperm bank upstairs. What? Thanks. His child? Women. Oh. Can't live with them. Can't live without them. Aye, aye. That was awfully rude what he said about his wife, though. The sperm bank? Long as I live, she'll never let me forget what happened. You did that, though. I did hurt him once, okay? It was an accident. Completely unintentional. Could have happened to anybody. Oh, gosh. There's someone else in the hotel with us. There's a crazy woman in one of the rooms. Oh, no. She tried to strangle Danny. He went up into one of the bedrooms. The door was open and he saw this crazy woman in the bathtub. Oh. She tried to strangle him. Uh-oh. Which room was it? Oh, no. Don't let him go in that room. In Colorado, 10 inches of snow has fallen in just a few hours tonight. Travel in the Rockies is almost impossible. 
Oh, okay. I was like, who is that? The heat and humidity are supposed to climb. Local he knows. Should be jammed. Yeah, you gotta help the child, man. But like, don't die, okay? Yeah, we need you. What is going on? Oh my gosh. Oh gosh, what's in the room? These rooms are swaggy though. I know, oh. I was thinking the same thing. I'm like, I would yeah, stay sheesh, in a hotel that yeah. looked like this, but I'm not staying in this one. Mm -mm. What? Oh. God, she couldn't be sitting on the other side of the bathtub so we could see her? Yeah. Hot or not? Gonna be bloody? Oh, no. Uh, okay. That's like a very lecherous look. Wait, you don't have any questions? No. What's up with the music? Why isn't she moving? And Zeus's tarnation. Oh my god. Holy shy. <laughs> That's what you get when you cheat on your wife. <laughs> Nothing at all. I didn't see one goddamn thing. How is he? He's still asleep. Mm, I don't know. He didn't look too good. What about those bruises on his neck? Yeah, explain that away, sir. He did it to himself. Why? Once you rule out his version of what happened, there is no other explanation. Ugh. You mean just leave the hotel? Uh... Typical of you to create a problem like this when I finally have a chance to accomplish something. Oh my god. I have let you f up my life so far, but I am not gonna let you f this up. Oh god, I would just pack that kid up and leave. Yeah, let or him try do, to. Then you stay here. Yeah, you stay here by yourself in this crazy hotel. Big homie, you I'm, got it then? I'm gonna go. Poor thing. Good evening, fire service. Sir. I've been trying to make an urgent phone call up there, but the operator said that the phone lines are down. But there's a family up there all by themselves with a young kid. And with this storm and everything, I'd sure appreciate it if you give them a call on your radio just to see if everything's okay. Oh. Uh, why don't you call me back in about uh, 20 minutes? Thank you very much. I'll do that. Oh. That's really nice. Yeah. Like, kind of, like, small town. Yeah. It's... Like, okay, I'll just call them up for you. Oh, wow. Good evening, Mr. Torrance. A flopper's dash. Yeah. I'm in an awful mess of your jackets, huh? Oh, uh, Let me get you another one. Looks as though you might have got a spot of it on yourself there, Jeevesy, old boy. <laughs> that doesn't matter to say you. You're the important one. <laughs> oh, you're the important one. Why? Now, let's see if we can improve this with a little water. Sir. All right, I'll just set my bourbon Ew. and advocate down. No, why? On the urinal? Why? <laughs> what do they call you around here, Jeezy? Uh, Grady, sir. Delbert Grady. Grady? Oh, is he the dad? Is he the dad who killed the girls? Oh. Weren't you once the caretaker here? Mm, you're right. Why, no, sir. I don't believe, sir. You a uh, married man, are you, Mr. Grady? Yes, sir. Hmm? I have a wife and uh, two daughters, sir. Where are they now? Oh, they're somewhere around. I'm not quite sure at the moment, sir. Are they in room 237, maybe? I saw your picture in the newspapers. Chopped your wife and daughter up into little bits. And uh, then you blew your brains out. And you're having a full-blown conversation with this man. Did you know, Mr. Torrance, that your son is attempting to bring an outside party into this situation. What? And cook. <gasps> Sending out signals. Your son has a very great talent. 
Oh my goodness, he's so... But he is attempting to use that very talent against your will. Oh God, save the child. Red Rob! Danny? Red Rob! Red Rob! Oh gosh. Red Rob! That's... Red that, Rob! That's Tony's voice, isn't it? Danny's not here, Mrs. Torrent. Told you. Wake up. Just ask Tony. Just ask Tony what's up. Danny can't wake up, Mrs. Torrance. I'm gonna need some answers. This is KDK1, calling KDK12. Oh gosh, is he gonna break the radio? Or is he gonna say, everything's fine, sir? We're fine up here. No need to send a search party. Are you receiving? You know what's up, Halloran. Oh, he's coming back. Durkin's Garage. Hello, can I speak to Larry? Speaking. Hi, Larry, this is Dick. Dick Halloran. Well, I just got in from Miami and I gotta get up to the Overlook today. What's the weather like up there? Terrible. The snow plows are keeping things moving in town, but the mountain roads are completely blocked. That means I'm gonna need a snow cat to get up there, Larry. Can you fix me up with one? Larry, just between you and me, we got a very serious problem with the people who are taking care of the place. They turned out to be completely unreliable assholes. Oh, okay. I thought he was going to go all, like, supernatural. How long is it going to take you to get up here? Oh, about five hours. Gosh. Stay alive, family. Please. Oh. Okay. This is psychotic. I love how creative he's gone with the I know, I'm the like, verses. very nice. How do you like it? <laughs> uh, yeah. Uh, just step away. You don't look right. Uh-oh. Maybe he should be taken to a doctor. You think maybe he should be taken to a doctor? <laughs> when do you think maybe he should be taken to a doctor? He's so yeah. antagonizing. Has it ever occurred to you what would happen to my future? If I were to fail to live up to my responsibilities? Well, some things are more important. I'm not gonna hurt you. You didn't let me finish my sentence. I said, I'm not gonna hurt you. Yeah. I'm just gonna bash your brain. <gasps> oh! You throw him off the stairs. Yeah, I kick him down. Yes! Give me the bat. <laughs> yeah. Yes! Okay! Yeah. Grab yep. your child. He needed that. He did. But also... Girl, run! <laughs> yeah. Lo you need to lock him up. Exactly. Okay, good. Good, good, good. At least she's like... Who is dragging him? Okay, this is... Okay. Oh, no. Oh, oh the no, hotel. the house won't let you. Oh, okay. Whew. All right, it wasn't... I would... No! I would bob him one more time just to be sure. Ah! Uh, should. Yeah, lock the door. Lock the door. Oh! 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 I mean, you won't die in there. You've food. got all the food. You've got a big surprise coming to you. Why? <laughs> You're not going anywhere. He's gonna have to do the fire alarm. Go check out the snow cat in the radio and you'll see what I mean. Uh, go check it out! Just leave him locked up in there. Oh, he disabled it. Oh, shit. Don't let him out. Oh, God, it's gonna be like one of the ghosts, isn't it? Yeah. I'm gonna be like, here you go. It's great, eh, Mr. Torrance. Oh, God, you. I see you can hardly have taken care of the business we discussed. Why do you want this? I'll deal with that situation as soon as I get out of here. I have my doubts. I and others have come to believe. Others? That your heart is not in this. Just give me one more chance to prove it, Mr. Grady. Why do you want to do this? All right, hurry up. I guess you can't go very fast yeah, in those things. Yeah, like, what, 10 miles per hour? Yeah. Rob. Red, Rob. 
Um, You're sleeping? Because she thinks he's locked he's up. He's locked up, yeah. Rum. Red rum. Mommy, wake up, wake up, wake up, your child! Red rum. Red rum. Red rum. She is sleeping so well. Red rum. Red rum. I hope they don't get murdered. Wake up! Red rum! Stop it! Red rum! Get it! Red rum! Red rum! Yeah! Uh oh. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. With the axe! You gotta get the hell out of here. Okay, grab your coats, guys. Oh god, maybe there's no time. No, not the bathroom. You're stuck in there. Yeah. It's like a horror movie trope. Oh, okay. Oh god. But the snow. Oh, okay, okay. Wendy, I'm home. Oh gosh. Yeah, yeah, that's right. Take the child out first. Oh, that's kind of fun. Not terrifying. Oh, God, why would you? Oh, you can't. I feel like he's enjoying himself a little bit too much. I can't get out. Oh, run. But like where? Little pigs. Little pigs, let me come in. Yeah, get your knife. No! Stab him now. Stab Here's him now. Here's Johnny. Uh, yeah, now. Uh, Stab him. <laughs> okay. Is he gonna see Danny? Did you bring a gun? Oh god, is he gonna walk into the hotel and then just like get killed? Okay, lady, you hear it. Now run, this is it, this is your opportunity. Why are you back inside? Are you trying to help mommy? Uh, You're hiding? To hide. Okay, I mean, I guess you don't wanna be out in the cold. He's getting help from the okay, house. Okay, so he has a broken ankle and a cut in his arm. How much more damage can we do? Okay, mom, you need to pull yourself yeah, together. Yeah, you gotta like get your, it together. Your kid needs you. Are there not any, like, good spirits here yeah. who can guide you? You know? Like, someone who's like, hey, dude. Oh, shit. oh, shit. I really hope he left the key inside the, right. oh, the car. My God. Oh, the poor man. He flew all the way from Miami, Florida to come save this family. Oh. Oh, Jesus. Good idea to run. Oh, jeez. No, he's gonna ruin the car again. How did he open the door? Oh, please. Oh, gosh. Oh, gosh. Oh, kiddo. Stay under the car or something. Idiotic. Yeah, he's going in the maze. Well, I hope you spent your time learning the maze inside and out, boy. Oh, his little footprints! Oh gosh, the, the, the bloody lifts. Oh, yeah. Oh! The music! Girl, you can cry about this in therapy later. Right. You need to, like, get, yep. Ah! Oh gosh! Who the hell are you? Great coffee, isn't it? No no no, 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 don't go in the lift, don't go in there. 
I don't know what that is. Just don't go. <laughs> uh, what the? What happened in 1920? Yeah, what was this party? Yeah, like who died and why? What? Oh, smart kid. That's pretty good. Oh, oh, she's seeing it. Oh. You're part of the madness now, All lady. All the blood that's happened in this hotel. Oh my god. I hope he's not in a dead end. Oh, and then he's following his tracks. He's so smart. Okay, you've made it out. Ah! No, don't scream! Why did you drop the Why'd knife? Why'd you drop the knife? Uh. <laughs> the hotel is not going to be happy with him. Because he didn't do what they needed. Are we leaving? Are we actually okay, leaving? Whoa. Let's go. He's got to die. Yeah. Now you're with the ghosts. Yeah. They're going to take their pound of flesh because Remember, you're you on paid a, with right. credit. Damn, he didn't. He wasn't as smart as his son. He's going to get trapped in the maze. Uh, he really did. Oh, is this the people coming back on May 1st? Oh my god. Or oh, he's joined them now. Like, oh. they're all... They're all ghosts that live there at the hotel? Or is he already in the picture? Oh god, that would be crazy. Okay, where are we going? Where is he? Where is he? He was... That's why he said it was familiar, right? Where is he? Right there! What? July 4th ball, 1921. Are they gonna tell us yeah, what no. happened there? That's it? What? 1921. That's how we're ending this? Is there like an end credit scene that so says like a, what happened? Right. Is this a July 4th movie? <laughs> Happy 4th, everyone! Yeah. Happy Independence Day! It doesn't end like this. Now I'm gonna have to spend so many hours looking up... Like, what actually happened. Right, right. Like, Maybe well, read the book. Yeah, because I know that there was a, like, uh, something else that came out recently that Ewan McGregor was in, and I don't know if that's, like, a picking up many, many years later, mm. or if it was a, a prequel or, or whatever, but it has something to do with The Shining, but, like, holy crap, that was right. very tense. I felt my head just, like, my the muscles in my forehead just, like, scrunching the whole time. It was so tense from start to finish. Because they began with the kid being weird, you yeah. know? So, and then you knew something was off with the dad. And so the whole thing was crazy from start to finish. Yeah, and it was really interesting as well because as I was watching it, I was like, it does feel a little bit slower paced than what we're used to today, mm -hmm. right? But I think it works really well for this because it just kind of, it ratchets up the tension just so slowly that by the time, you know, it really starts to get crazy, then you're already at a 10 and you're like, ha! Ah! Right. Yeah. Yeah, it, I, really because sometimes you watch a scary movie and you're like oh so you just switched like that like all of a sudden now you're this big bad villain or yeah. like, what's your motive and you don't really understand them this it's like no we're gonna you're gonna live with these characters for a few months yeah and then i thought it was just really interesting the way that it was shot obviously wonderful yeah but the way they did time jumps and how it went from 
slower to medium to really fast. Yeah. I, I just thought that was so creative. Yeah. And like the the set design and the costumes and everything were just so well thought out. Mm-hmm. Like the hotel itself was pretty amazing. Amazing. Like it's, it's a gorgeous hotel, but it, you really do get that sense of like, oh, it's it's kind of creepy with even with its beauty and, and everything. And so I definitely appreciated that and like the camera angles and everything were so good, especially those shots where it started in close and then it started pulling back. And it just feels really eerie because it's like, you're, you're looking at the same thing, but it's just gradually just pulling back and, and more of the like set or the setting is filling the frame and it's like wait what am I supposed to be looking for right like, why right. do I like, feel uncomfortable like or yeah and I just thought that they established the hotel just in a few pieces of dialogue really well and the what you were saying like this opulence of how beautiful this hotel was still felt creepy and the idea that you know so much of this land is stolen and taken and done so in by murder and yeah horrible crimes and so that idea that they played with of uh, things that they don't just go away you yeah know, it kind of leaves this energy like or whatever imprint. you yeah you want it's not like oh erase it never existed yeah it's still the like energy is actual matter that we make up it's real you know so i i love that kind of deeper look into it yeah and like the whole lore of the shine and mm-hmm. the shining i really enjoy just because like for me my favorite i guess type of horror is supernatural horror like i've always been so fascinated by like ghosts and the paranormal and like vampires and stuff like that and so once they started talking about like oh i have the shine and stuff i'm like oh now i'm very invested yeah. i'm very interested like what what is up with this child and and the old man and their special skills and stuff i was gutted that he had to go I but that he was gutted yeah he was gutted <laughs> yeah. but yeah, i could see that coming because right. you know it's like so someone's gotta die right right <laughs> and he only knew so much you know i'm yeah. sure the premonitions or however they were speaking to each other didn't come in full. Well, it's so still a child. Yeah. You know? And it's so interesting as well because like they gave us enough to kind of understand what might have been going on, but they didn't give us too much. Mm-hmm. Like they didn't show us any of their telepathic conversations or anything that might have been happening from the hotel to his house in Miami. It was enough for us to follow along and to accept the reality in the movie of what's happening. And I thought that was so good. And the casting as well for this movie was phenomenal. Phenomenal. That kid, oh my God. He He, was so great. Yeah. I mean, he had that same vibe that, uh, I forgot the actor's name in The Sixth Sense. Oh, Haley Joel Osment. Right. Yeah. Where it just... It just feels like you've been here before and he was so subtle. Yeah. And they were really smart to not give him too much dialogue. You know, he only said a few words here and there and a lot of repetition, but it made it creepy. Yeah. And you just being in the POV of a child in a horror thing is yeah. so like him and his bike I'm like why does it feel like Chucky you know it's yeah, creepy but then it's really this creepy. innocent boy and Jack Nicholson as well oh. was really good and I don't know what it is about him maybe it's like his his, his eyebrows. Eyes, his eyebrows, like all of that was working to full effect in this movie to make him just seem so unhinged. And Shelley Duvall was, you know, excellent. Giving everything. Everything. Although everything. Sometimes I was like, lady. A little more. Pull a it little together. More. Yeah, emotionally, everything. Action wise, I'm like, your child's in the snowstorm. Yeah. Get it together. Yeah. But it's, I mean, I can imagine that. It's like they're in this massive hotel, yet Jack's character is so massive yeah and creepy and it feels like you should be able to hide really anywhere but you can't but you can't and it's kind of like when you're alone in a room with a fly and you're like how are you owning this space how are how am i leaving the room now <laughs> right i'm afraid yeah but it yeah the whole atmosphere everything was like peak the aesthetic was there top notch Uh, yeah and the aesthetic I I mean definitely not about to go to any hotels that are painted red no that's no that's no or deserted places in general yeah that's just a bad idea right anywhere where the phone lines are down no 
we're out. Anyway, that was fun, you guys. <laughs> Hope you enjoyed it. Hope we didn't blast out your eardrums at a certain point. But um, at least we can say we've watched this classic film. Yes, now, I we know. know what it's about. I'm glad I, I did. <laughs> I'm glad I did it with you and with some light. We get to watch it with lights. Not, yes, <laughs> not in the dark. Yeah. That's okay. Anyway, you guys, uh. thanks so much. Uh, we'll see you soon. Let us know in the comments if there are any other like good scary movies that you'd like us to watch maybe in this vein maybe in a different vein let us know i'm achara kirk this is steph sabra ciao